Hey everyone, my name is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores and estate sales and garage sales and sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I look for things that I enjoy or that make me feel happy or that tell me a story and then I take them home, find out as much as I can about them and then come and show them to you guys. So here's what I have for you today. Now, I just know at this moment in time there are a whole bunch of Fire King collectors going, oh my god! <gasps> yeah, so this this is this is Fire King. Alright, I'm gonna actually just do the maybe the measurements. It is five and a half inches across. And I already measured it as about four inches high. This is a mixing bowl uh, the so-called no splash mixing bowl because it's kind of it's kind of like a much it's gonna be much like a more steep kind of more steep angle as it comes up and if I can get this to show up on camera fire king ovenware you can just see the logo there and the ovenware um some of these bowls will be we'll, we'll say made in USA uh I think this is probably one of the older ones that doesn't but anyway this is this is fire king <laughs> fire king as we all know made by anchor hawking which was started in the 1940s this particular bowl is one of the mixing bowl set and this is called the tulip pattern and <laughs> and again I, i'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people like or anybody who's watching this who knows fire king and who knows this pattern is just going oh my god player how did you get this yeah i bought this in a thrift store for three dollars <laughs> uh i have no idea if they actually knew what they had okay so a lot of fire king patterns i think they're not as collectible or maybe not as well known as pyrex and i know that fire king was the competitor to pyrex at the time you know and endure you know the, the 40s the 50s the 60s this particular pattern the tulip pattern this is as far as I know, it's very collectible. It is very, very rare. And this particular bowl is in perfect condition. Perfect. Like, I, if you, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I have occasionally just gone and just bitched at length about the fact that you should not take your vintage glassware and ceramics and put them through the dishwasher, okay? And this is especially true of Pyrex and Fire King that have these printed designs on them. The dishwasher ruins them. It is uh, something about the actual solvents that it's used in dishwashing, like the dishwasher uh, cleaning agents. They essentially strip this completely. So normally when you see bowls like this, all of the flowers are damaged, it's all faded, and the the, the surface just looks Look, it looks terrible. It looks like it's destroyed. And in, and in fact, in this same thrift store, I actually saw a Pyrex, uh, like a, one of the Pyrex patterns. And I think it was, uh, I can't remember which one, but it was one of the solid color bowls. And it just looked, it looked, it, it was in such a sorry state. All of the color had been stripped off. It was just faded down to a pastel of something that would have been started, that would have started off as being like bright red or whatever, just completely ruined. So lesson to you. If you have vintage stuff like this, don't put it in the dishwasher. Bad. No biscuit. Okay, so I've done that. Here we have some examples of the tulip pattern. So the tulip pattern would have done like a whole different like range, okay? And if Anchor Hawking, when they were making this, actually did it in two different colors as well. This is... If you can see it on the camera, it's slightly off-white. This is the ivory version. They actually did this in a pure white as well. So I'm not sure if that's a very obvious kind of change or whatever. Um, another interesting thing to note is that the pattern itself here, this is actually lead-based, okay? So if you're worried about that kind of thing, I'm not sure that this is appropriate for food use because it's got you know this that's effectively lead paint <laughs> it's it's transferred lead paint so it's beautiful but again it was made by the four it was made in the 40s before they knew that lead paint was bad make of that what you will 
Now, you can see here that they did a whole range of stuff. The mixing bowls is are, are what people really look for um, more than anything else. There's a set of them, a set of four that you can get. This one is, as far as I know, the smallest one. Um, but anything with the tulip pattern is generally quite difficult to find and quite expensive. So, so the million dollar question, am I keeping this? No, I don't collect a Fire King of this kind. I actually picked this up because I could not believe what I was seeing. I don't know a whole lot about Fire King and Pyrex patterns in general. I have a kind of a vague idea about which ones are considered to be quite rare. And I saw this and thought, no way, that's a rare Fire King pattern. What is that doing in a thrift store in the middle of nowhere in Vancouver? And just one. Like, where where is the rest of the set? <laughs> yeah. So I got it anyway. So, so yeah, I'm not going to keep it. All right. This is probably going to go up on eBay. I know that there are a lot of collectors who are very much interested in bowls like this, especially when you consider that a lot of Pyrex and Fire King, if it is very heavily damaged, it becomes worthless. Not so with the tulip pattern. It will sell for quite, like, for reasonably good money, even if it's damaged. And this one is perfect. This has never seen a dishwasher. I'm not even sure it's seen a, a sink at this point. <laughs> it may have never been used. It's There's nothing on it. There's no chips. There's no nothing. It's perfect. Oh, fun fact as well. There are actually fakes of this. <laughs> I thought the weirdest thing ever is like if something actually sells for a lot of money, there, there will be fakes made of it. There are fakes of this. And it's the weirdest thing ever. I'm, I'm really kind of interested to see what they look like now. Apparently there'll be stuff like the, the jade eye green color that Anchor Hawking also made, but it'll have the tulip pattern on it, which which makes no sense at all, because Anchor Hawking themselves never made that combination, but and yet that shows up. So it's, it's just it's just really weird. Yes, there can be fakes made of like ancient vintage dishware. Okay, so so what is this actually worth? The the problem with this is that the the it doesn't come up often enough that it's that you can say conclusively what it, what it's going to sell for. Like, I've seen prices on this go from anywhere up to $70 just for one bowl. It really does depend on the condition and it depends on, like, um, you know, our, you know which collector, I guess, sees it on the day. I will probably put this up on eBay and, you know, I'll set maybe, like, 40 or $50 as a price because I do want it to sell. I want it to go to somebody who'll appreciate it. I could probably sell for more because it's in such good condition. I don't know. I don't care that much as long as I'm making back you know my money and I know that an investor is going to get it and you know a, a collector is going to get it then you know I'm happy with that <laughs> so I just I cannot believe that I found this I really can't something everyone uh sorry this is a bit abrupt um all I can say is that there were shenanigans with my phone I didn't realize that the bottom like the the last chunk of the video the outro has just been completely cut off um, so I'm doing a fast screen recording, once again showing you the lovely tulip pattern bowl. Um, I only discovered this, unfortunately, the night before this video was supposed to be live. So I'm very sorry. Um, look at all the lovely tulip pattern bowls. Um, I'm sure that, yeah, they're, they're very, very nice, of course. I'm so glad that I got a chance to, to, to have one for a while and just kind of just play with it and stuff. Um, it has since been sold on eBay, which is really nice. So yeah, um, if I make if I find more of this, I will obviously make more videos about them. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.